This is Porter Rockwell country. Anybody ever heard of Porter Rockwell? Back if you drive down Redwood Road and look at the new road out there, it's called the Porter, Porter Rockwell Drive or something. Porter Rockwell was fairly famous in Utah history. He was, uh, was Brigham Young's bodyguard. He was the first sheriff in the state of Utah. In fact, he was a good friend of Joseph Smith, the Mormon prophet. And one day Joseph Smith told him that if he had never shaved or never cut his hair, he'd never get into BYU. <laughs> and so, consequently, now he told him he wouldn't die a violent death at the hands of the enemy. So he grew a long beard and long hair, and he had lots of interesting circumstances. Uh, for example, one time he was in a gunfight, and when it was over, he stood up and shook his clothes, and the bullets fell out where he'd been hit. Now, you can believe that if you want, but there was another occasion where he was riding between Salt Lake and Lehigh, and a man stepped out of the bushes with the gun pointed at him. He said, Porter Rockwell, I've come to kill you. And Porter Rockwell looked at him, and this is back when you had cap and ball pistols, and you had to have a little cap on the back of the gun to prime it. And he said to the man, you wouldn't try and kill a man with an unprimed gun, would you? And the guy couldn't remember if he'd put that little cap on the back to prime his pistol. So Porter Rockwell paused, or the man paused just long enough to look to see if it was primed, and Porter Rockwell shot him, so he got out of that one. <laughs> anyway, he was captured one time, and he had enough weapons on him to fire 87 rounds without reloading, as well as several large knives. It's just a good thing he didn't fall in a river. Through the desert comes a horseman like the wind. On his buckskin shirt he wears a star of tin. When last he shaved or cut his hair, it's hard to tell. No one forgets the man who's called Porter Rockwell. Don't shave or cut your hair, Joseph prophesied. Violence won't be your end, peaceful you will die. So Porter let them grow, just as Joseph said. Many tried to gun him down, and many fell Porter's lead. He was peaceful, he was kind. And if you needed help, he was the one to find. But when a man broke the law, Porter's deadly side was all they saw. Through the desert sun for days on end he'd ride, with a shotgun and a pistol by his side. When he found the man that he was out to track, he'd rather leave him dead than try to bring him back. Through the desert comes a horseman like the wind. On his buckskin shirt he wears a star of tin. When last he shaved or cut his hair, it's hard to tell. No one forgets the man who's called Porter Rockwell. All right, Drew. Awesome. Thanks so much, Mike.